Hey, what's up everybody? This is Jesse here with JLS Comics, as I'm sure you know because you clicked on the channel. I um, wanted to show you the books that I got for the beginning of January. We're already two weeks into the freaking new year. can't believe it. Um, I was on vacation last week, so I wasn't able to pick up my books. Um, well, I got a couple of them over there. But um, I did go today to get uh, my new comic book. So I wanted to show you what I'm reading, uh, the current books that I'm reading. So let's go through these. Uh, the first is the uh, event, uh, Inhumans vs. X-Men, IVX. This is issue number two, and it's the Michael Cho variant. I'm liking these. Uh, I think I'm going to pick up all of uh, these. He's going to do the whole series here. It's been pretty good so far. It's uh, written by Jeff Lemire and Charles Soule with uh, Lineal Yu. We know Francis Yu uh, on art, and that's a winning team, if you ask me. Um, it surprised me. Uh, it's been a good read so far. Uh, looking forward to this, well, first two issues, because it was a zero. So it was zero, one. So this is issue two, but kind of issue three, but kind of spinning out of Death of X, so it could be issue whatever the fuck. Um, but it says issue two. Um, so there you go. Looking forward to reading that. Next up is another event that's been surprisingly good for me. Um, I'm going to say surprising because it's not quite what I expected. I said it last video too. Uh, it's uh, Justice League vs. Suicide Squad. Uh, this is issue 3 of 6 and I liked this cover of the ones that were available. Um, so I went ahead and uh, picked this one up. It's uh, obviously Harley fighting Wonder Woman. You can't go wrong with that, right? But uh, today actually, this is a weekly so it's going to be Every week we're going to get one. So this week we actually got issue four. This is the regular cover. Freaking Lobo right there. Kicking ass. Um, looks good. It's been good. Um, the whole thing between them has been interesting. And the way they do it, it makes sense where... Um, oh, Jesus. To where, um, you know, the Justice League isn't so grossly overpowered compared to the Suicide Squad. You know, they actually fight. And it's like, okay, I can see that fight happening, you know, without somebody being killed in two seconds. Alright, so that's issue four of six. Justice League versus Suicide Squad. Alright, next up we have, I can't believe it's up to 24 already. This is Deadpool issue number 24. Uh, I am dropping, I'm getting a little burnt out by Deadpool, so I'm going to drop Spider-Man Deadpool. Um, and I'm dropping... Uh, Old Man Logan came out today. I'm dropping that. Um, I'm just not digging that art, guys. I... I don't know. I like Sorrentino on it, but uh, Felipe Andrade, not feeling it. I, there's only a couple issues left in the series anyhow, but uh, I just can't. I gotta cut some stuff, and that's gonna have to be something that goes. My receipt. Uh, Joe Pruitt's Black Eyed Kids, issue number 10 through Aftershock Comics. Been digging these uh, Francesco Francovia covers. Uh, been really great story, really atmospheric and eerie and, uh, you know, creepy, as is the urban legend. If you know anything about it, you kind of know what to expect from this book, and that's exactly what you get. Look at that. Whoop. All right. Black Eyed Kids. All right. Love this. Uh, All Through Wolverine. This is issue 16. Uh, this has been a great read so far, and I love this cover, man. That is a cool cover. I think that's going to be a hot book just because of the cover. Looks just like Weapon X, doesn't she? Um, yeah, so there you go. Issue number 16. Alright, next up. This has a first appearance in it. I think this is another good uh, bet for this week. Um, given that there is a first appearance in there. A uh, gentleman that works with uh, the colony. With um, her dad. Alright, this is Batwoman Begins Part 1. And it is 9.48 for... Detective Comics, and you get Tynan. Who's Bennett? Who's Bennett? I forget Bennett's name. Marguerite Bennett, that's right. James Tynan IV, Marguerite Bennett. And a freaking awesome Ben Oliver cover, right? And this is the winner for this week. One of the winners. We haven't gotten to the winner yet. Um, top book, the one I'm most excited um, to have gotten, even though I've already read it. <laughs> Um, it's Batman 14, uh, not the top, but this is Batman 14. I really like this cover as well. Um, Tom King still doing a, a good job, if you ask me on this. I know other people have other opinions, but I've been liking it, and I've stuck with it. And um, it's been pretty good. Rooftops Part 1, different type of Catwoman in here. Been fighting Bane recently. Um, 
definitely uh, sticking with this book. Alright, Batman 14. Another 14 issue is, this came out last week, it's Superman Part 1 of Multiplicity, so they're kind of like lighting up not only with the numbering, but also kind of like where the new story arcs are starting, you know what I mean? So, like even with this one, they went with Volume 1, so it's a different numbering, but the new arcs are kind of beginning at the same time, which is cool. A little bit of continuity there. Um, yeah, so you get all the different uh, Supermans here. All right, number 11 for Harley Quinn, and this is actually the Frank Cho variant for it. Um, usually I'm pretty good about checking out the upcoming cover art and stuff, like for Frank Cho especially, I'll, I'll check out his Instagram and everything, Facebook, um, but I, I didn't see this um, until I saw it was coming out, like the day of, and then I went and looked and I saw like he did like a sort of like a process flow through this where we added in like the layers and the rain and the dress and then the inks and everything it was pretty cool um, watching that progression um, but this is a really cool cover um, and I think it kind of flew under the radar too um, but yeah it, 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 heads and tails above uh, the regular cover um, not that it's bad but I just really had to get this one and I'm trying to do good with my pull so I only got one all right, now this is my winning pick for the week. Um, you guys got to get this. Um, it's a uh, really winning team here. You got I got, got both covers. Okay, it's cover A and cover B. Um, this is the cover B. Okay, so if you have the cover A, it's the one with the green. If you want the cover B, it's the one with the purple. Okay, um, basically it takes place in uh, Texas, and it opens up uh, with the. This guy is talking, and there's some things happens with the dad. And he gets to fight with the cops and everything. Um, and then there's a big freaking storm that comes. Here's some of the art. Okay, a big storm comes, and then you find out that some people maybe aren't who they say they are. Okay, so I'm not just gonna leave it at that. I don't want to spoil anything. Look at that big storm. Can you see it? Okay. So definitely, uh, it's a great story. Um, you get Donnie Cates and Jeff Shaw, you see right there. Jason Wardy on colors. Uh, Gerardo Zafino did the cover B, which I forget what it was. This one. Gerardo Zafino did this cover. Okay. Really good story. Uh, good surprises there in the story. Um, I think you guys will like it quite a bit. And I think there's going to be some talk about the book later on in the next couple days as people read it and learn about it and love it. So get on this book before it jumps above cover price. All right, that's it guys. That'll do it for today. This is Jesse here, JLS Comics. Go ahead and hit one of those thumbs, whichever one you want. Um, and if it's your first time here, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I had a lot of stuff I've done in the past for you to check out and a lot of stuff coming up in the future. So looking forward to that. And uh, we had our first show last night for a comic conversation. Um, and it was really fun. We had a great uh, bunch of people in the chat, so that was really cool, participating, asking questions and stuff. And uh, we had some great uh, great fun with that, so I'm looking forward to next week too. Which will be next Tuesday on my channel. 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, there's a shameless plug. And we're gonna have a special guest. Um, so if you wanna come check it out, um, it's going to be, uh, the gentleman who created the book called do to do let me pull up the cover for you well it's Jiren. Okay. so if you want to read the book please do I'm trying to pull up the cover so you can see it and I apologize for the dog barking in the background okay so there you go there's the cover okay it's Tom Lintern who's gonna be here all right on my channel so, there you go. This is Jesse, JLS Comics, and I gotta go see what's going on with that dog. Talk to you later.